All right, guys, uh, so this is a series I decided to make on React in WordPress. WordPress and React, they are both extremely popular, as we know. So if you look a little bit deeper here, we can see that 43% of all websites are sitting on WordPress. And if you go with the CMS route, the market share even larger, 65%. And look what's happening to the competition here. The closest one is 2.6 and 4.6, which is nothing. And the good news is the popularity is still growing. And now let's look at React, what's happening on 2021. And this survey shows it has now 41% 40 market share for React and jQuery 34%. So I have decided to combine the two, I mean React and WordPress, and we will have some jQuery and create a brand new series so that we can learn how to create React applications on WordPress templates. This is a very simple WordPress theme built, uh, built using this one, the underscore provided by Automatic. And I intentionally kept it extremely simple. I mean, not too much styling or anything, but where it not stays simple is when you click here. Now, this is no longer a PHP driven page. If you look at the bottom, you'll see it has its own template, template React App 1. And on that template, I am pulling in this single page app. This is an extremely simple one built with class-based component just to maintain backwards compatibility. And it's a simple thing, like the uh, only thing works is that if you click on it, the button gives you an alert and then I moved on to another page, template, template number two, created this React app two here. Same way, it's uh, as simple as the one before, only one button works. So once that was done, I moved on to create this a little bit, you know, more complicated one. This one actually pulling in the post data from this WordPress installation using jQuery Ajax. And the reason I decided to use jQuery because as WordPress developers, this is the most familiar thing for us. I mean, especially for beginner developers, just to so that everybody feels a little bit comfortable. So that's why I used jQuery at the beginning inside React, basically just the Ajax part so that we can use that to pull in this data. I know there are libraries like Axios and uh, Vetch. I mean, eventually we'll get to that, but this is being the first one of the series. I just decided to use those. And most importantly, it has a router, hash router I used create this navigation so that we can actually pull in other pages. And here also, the way I created them, they usually try to go to, as you can see the ID here, 1117, it will try to go to that specific single page. Look at this, 1117, right? I mean, it's not wired just yet, but in the future, I'm planning on building a full CRUD app using this same page, same structure, depending on, you know, if you guys like it, they have, what's the demand, then I'll move forward and, and build a whole bunch of other stuff to it. And other than this uh, simple pages here in the navigation, I also created this. This is actually using WP Ajax with jQuery Ajax to insert data. So let me show you an example. And by the way, you know, as the this page was loading every time, as you can see, I'm just console logging it so that 
you can see that actual data coming from WordPress, REST API. So let's uh, clean it up a little and then let's go here and keep an eye out here. This is the first post. So let's just do a simple one. A -A. Just a bunch of gibberish. But when we hit add post, look at that. Here's a success here. And it actually gave you the ID of the brand new post it just created, right? And if we go back to that um, home page, right there, look, this is the one we just created, and this is the ID, 1148. So it's all functional. So the approach I'm going to take here is that I'm not going to go, you know, typing up everything with you. It's going to take a very, very long time. And if you are seeing this, I would assume that you are probably familiar with the WordPress basics and React basics. So I'm not going to spend too much time explaining everything. I'm going to go pretty fast. Uh, and the approach I'm going to take is like this. I have built this theme with everything wired in and uh, put it in the uh, GitHub so that you can download. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start from the downloading this theme and putting into a WordPress installation and go through file by file. And we're going to go ahead and let's say enable, you know, a few lines at a time and see what the impact is. And that's the approach I'm going to take. And eventually, you know, it's going to, I'm going to push the code here again so that you can, you know, download the whole work already complete. And I'm going to also show you how to, you know, run the configuration stuff like NPM install, etc., so that you can follow those stuff and eventually complete this one as an exercise by yourself. And this will give you a running start as to building you know more complicated apps like this or even farther than that and that being said let's get started thanks for watching thanks for watching if you like this video please smash the like button and the subscribe button this will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week Thanks again.